Christian, I consider Jesus a prophet, but he's a prophet of the one God. There's not several. So uh, as a Christian, I worship Allah. How many have read the Quran? A minority, certainly. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to shame you, but I do. <laughs> I think we should all be ashamed. You know, we're, we're throwing our weight around in a world where almost a quarter of the population are Muslims. And not to know, you know, how, how can you say the Islamic State is a false construct if you don't know what true Islam is? This book I published is a product of my shame. I was embarrassed. Uh, after 9-11, I was talking with a group of friends, academic friends, and we were wondering, you know, is this really a, an Islamic uh, event, the 9-11 attack? And at some point, people asked, well, who here has read the Quran? None of us have. Uh, and a, a friend of mine said, not even you, Gary? I thought you were a student of religion. Uh, and I said, yeah, that's the problem. I'm, I'm totally ashamed. Uh, and so I went and have been trying to repair that stupidity ever since. In the Quran, they ask Allah, through Muhammad, how they should pray. And here's, here's one of many creeds in the Quran. We believe in God and in what was sent down to us and what was sent down to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the 12 tribes, and what was given to Moses, Jesus, and all the prophets by the Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and we devote ourselves to him in all of them. That's a very inclusive creed. Judaism sometimes say that the chosen people are the circumcised, and narrow believers in Christianity sometimes say that the chosen people are the baptized. But the Quran says God's chosen people are all the monotheists from the beginning of the creation. Adam is the first prophet because he falls in Genesis, but he repents. And God makes him the first prophet, the covenant with the Lord. Allah says he has sent messengers at every stage of creation. All of his human creatures are given a message from him. He said, I, I give it in the language that they use. I gave it in Hebrew for the Jewish covenant. I gave it in Greek for the Christian covenant. And I give it in Arabic for the Islamic covenant. But they're all my people. And when we think of the succession of prophets, they're given great praise. Muhammad uh, praises Moses. Uh, in some ways, the most important prophet before Muhammad, though they're all directly from God, it's Jesus. Jesus has given a bigger accreditation than other prophets. John the Baptist is given, made a prophet so that he can prophesy Jesus. Mary, his mother, uh, is the only woman named in the Quran. No wife of Muhammad is named. Uh, there's no Adam and Eve, there's Adam and spouse. Uh, but Mary is not only named, She's made sinless. She conceives uh, Jesus in 
virgin birth. She is tremendously honored. One can only hope that more people will use freedom to do things like read the Quran rather than hate the Muslims. <laughs> <laughs>